hi guys so i'm here with another video today we're gonna taste test these lovely sensational really sought after highly intoxicating uh wines so this is the ever so famous and widely talked about capriccio it comes in two colors red and white right i just figured we try them together today on camera and see what should pop in if you're wondering i have on hair store hoops i have on emily hoff's lip gloss so let's just get started so of course i have me one glass and um i think i probably should have gotten some ice because these hoes is hot let's try the the red one first. You see it's red at the bottom. And this one is white. First time being, ooh. Y'all see that little sting? I don't I don't know what that means. Maybe that means I don't know. Okay. Cheers. Let's taste. Ting. Okay. Okay. It's a little malty. A little malt licorice, you know. I like it better without the straw. I don't know what it is about it, but this is thirteen point nine percent alcohol. Your average beer or wine is usually about. Between five and ten, eleven. I don't really like this. Let's just chug it and get it over with. Deal. Mm -mm. I don't like this. I don't like it, but you know, for the price. Let's see what this shit is made out of. <laughs> made with pineapple, grape, lemon, pomegranate, orange, pear, apple, cherry, lime, juice from concentrate. Uh. It's no way. This must be the scraps. The scraps or the fruit that don't make it to the grocery store. They let it ferment. And they let it turn out. Wow. That's what this is. Oh, it's in my chest. Okay. Let's move on. Voila. So let's try the white one. See if she smokes too at the top. Oh, she didn't have smoke. Okay. I'm a little hesitant. Oh. She should make it burp like that. It should make it burp like that. All right. I'm gonna try a nice fair amount. Cheers to the freaking one can. Ting. I 
Okay. This is a lot better. This is a lot better. Let's see if this has the same things in it. This don't even, the white bottle don't even tell you what's in it. It just says made with premium grape wine and with natural flavors. I don't think that's on the back. It says 13.9% and government warning. I don't know. This this makes me a little bit more skeptical now. Let's keep drinking. I can taste a little bit of grape in that. A little bit of grape. I should have ate first. I should not have poured this much wine. This is okay, edges. Come through. This is classy for a logo. That's what the fuck this is. I can taste the grapes. I don't know if I'm just getting a little into this glass, but I can taste the grapes. White grapes. Paired white grapes. I mean, is that a thing? If that's a thing, it's a miss. It's a little thick in texture. I'm not gonna lie, like both of them. They're a little thick. But I feel like liquors that are more like malt liquory tend to be that way. The ones that are like cheap. My hair is growing. I haven't cut it since y'all saw me cut it i haven't gotten it styled or anything i've just been letting it grow so still got hella shrinkage like anybody else but it's nice to feel like i look like a girl with natural hair and not a little 16 year old boy uh this shit make you burp so if you're on some Netflix and chill and it's your first time hanging out with a nigga, don't buy this. Get rid of your wine. Maybe I am getting a little tipsy. I'm like all into myself. Have you ever tried Capriccio? Comment below if you've tried Capriccio. Tell me which kind you've tried. And if you've tried both, tell me which one you like better. I want to know what you guys think about this or what your experience has been with this so far I ain't gonna lie I'm feeling it this is only my second glass and unedited it's been 13 minutes and 26 seconds mama is toasted So overall, of uh, the red and the white, I definitely like the white sangria way more than the red sangria. Although, I feel like the red sangria bottle is way more attractive. You probably pick this one up first. I think it's the first bottle that really started to go viral. But the white one tastes way better. My toes are tingling. I feel alright. Yeah. This is the this is the motherfucking move. <sighs> These were like $11.99 at my local liquor store. Depending on where you live, they might even sell them at the gas stations. A lot of places even sell them for $10.99. If you get them on sale, they might be $9.99, so they're super inexpensive. If I was hanging out with my sisters or having a girl's night in, this would be something really nice to have. And maybe even to mix up with regular wine. And if you're trying to get the job done for not a lot of money, this would do it. 10 bucks, one bottle, between you and your friend, You'll be in there by the time you get there. You know? I definitely purchased the white one again. The black one, 
I would probably make a mixed drink with it. So I would probably add ginger ale, some fresh fruit, maybe some um, fresh lime juice too, to this black one to kind of cut the taste, that malt liquor taste, that fresh lime juice, and some fresh fruit put in, and that ginger ale. I think that would really take this black one, this red sangria to the next level. But the white one, I'd even put that with a little bit of orange juice, girl. That would make it amazing. We getting fucked up. Morning mimosa. You hear me? Yeah. Because I'm sure whatever champagne you're using is not 13.9% alcohol, baby. But that one. Give me some eggs benedict over that one. Actually, I hate, I hate eggs benedict. Um, but I do like my eggs scrambled soft. I'm rambling. But it must be because I'm tipsy. So, um, I guess until next time, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below what type of videos you would like to see. Comment down below if you've tried this, if you haven't tried it, if you want to try it. If you have a drink that you love and you want me to try it, bitch, let me know. I used to bartend back in college. So, I've been thinking about doing some ghetto bartending videos where I can show you guys how to make amazing drinks with cheap liquor. Or even amazing drinks with good liquor, but with not a lot of ingredients that don't cost a whole lot. So if you're interested in something like that, thumbs up this video. Comment below. Let me know what you're thinking. Let me know what you guys want to see. And until next time, bye-bye.